Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the two different phenomena which typically occurs in the case of fluid. These are nothing but the forces which are there in case of fluids. So these are nothing but the adhesive forces and cohesive forces. So guys, the adhesion and the cohesion, these are the phenomena which occurs in case of fluids basically. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic. But before going to our today's topic, I request you to consider subscribing to my educational channel, Ingenious Academy. So guys, let's begin with our today's topic of cohesion and adhesion. So as we all know, in matter or in any substance, there are the molecules, atoms are present and inside that molecules, there will be the force of attraction which is present and which bounds that particular molecules to each other. So over here, in case of the fluid statics, in case of the fluids, there will be also a force of attraction between the fluid particles, fluid molecules. So if the force of attraction is there between the fluid particles is of the similar molecules then that particular force can be called as the cohesive force if the force of the attraction is there between the different molecules so that particular force can be termed as the adhesive force now let me give you an example in case of water water when it splits on uh, you know any substance water splits very much easily as that compared to the mercury mercury won't split that easily as there in case of water water splits very much easily so over here in case of the water water molecules they don't want to combine with themselves they wants to combine with a different substance the force of the electrons between the molecules of the water these are very much on the lesser side so that means the cohesive forces are very less in case of water whereas in case of mercury these cohesive forces which are on the higher side the molecules of the mercury these the force of attraction between those molecules is on the higher side. Mercury won't, that, so that is, that is the main reason. Mercury won't scatter very much easily because there is a force of attraction because the cohesivity in case of mercury is very much high. So guys, when a particular fluid flows in case of uh, water, when water is flowing through a, a pipe basically uh, and uh, let's consider the flow is lamina, you know, the particular layers, the flow is in layers so that the uh, these molecular, uh, these molecules flow in a direction. So these, the force of the attraction in particular uh, uh, molecules are on the lesser side, the fluidity also increases. So as the viscosity also gets affected due to that cohesive forces. If the cohesive forces are more, the viscosity will be more. If the cohesive forces are less, the viscosity over here will be less so that is the main reason you know the cohesive forces are less in case of the water and water is having the high fluidity as compared to that of mercury so now let's talk about the adhesive forces adhesion so guys you might have heard about adhesives so adhesive is nothing but the substance which is used to combine the two different substances. so due to that adhesives you know these two different substances can combine together so over here the adhesive force means that it is the force of the attraction between two dissimilar molecules now uh, guys uh, to, i think two weeks back i have shared uh, like uh, a community post on the on my youtube community platform so that is over here in that community post oh, on the left hand side i have like a uh, water is there in a glass tube which forms a concave meniscus and on the right hand side the mercury is there which forms a convex meniscus so what is the main reason behind the formation of the concave as well as the convex meniscus so over here the answer is cohesivity and the adhesivity these are the forces which deals with the formation of this meniscus that is the concave and convex meniscus in case of water water is having less cohesivity water don't want to combine with itself but water wants to combine with the surrounding area of the glass tube so that's why the outer area you know that combines with the uh, molecules of the glass tube so the water molecules combines with the molecules of the glass tube so that's why that this is the main reason water forms a concave meniscus uh, concave meniscus whereas 
it means the adhesive forces are on a higher side in case of water but, but uh, the cohesive forces are on the lesser side whereas in a uh, another case that is in a case of uh, mercury the mercury don't want to combine with the glass tube mercury wants to combine with the same molecules only so that's why in the cohesive forces in case of mercury is on the higher side and that of the adhesive forces so adhesive forces in case of mercury are very low as compared to the cohesive forces so this is the main reason the convex meniscus gets formed in case of mercury so guys this is the main difference uh, between this cohesion and the adhesion cohesion deals with the similar molecules adhesion deals with the dissimilar molecules so this is the main reason between the cohesion and adhesion now let's talk about the wetting characteristics of a particular fluid with respect to cohesion and adhesion suppose i pour water on your clothes your clothes will get wet so this is the common sense basically but over here the logic is that the water molecules gets absorbed by your clothes by the molecules or the fabrics which is nothing but the polymers polymeric molecules so these are gets uh, water molecules gets absorbed with the polymeric molecules and uh, you know as the water is having less cohesivity but high adhesivity so this is the main reason water gets absorbed in sand water gets absorbed in a uh, different uh, substances in which water comes in contact with so you know that is the adhesivity and cohesivity that particular uh, characteristics affects the wetting characteristics of the fluid now let's talk about the effect of temperature on this adhesion and cohesion so guys uh, when we try to heat a particular fluid you know the internal molecule starts vibrating the force of the attraction between the molecules that reduces if the force of the attraction between the molecules reduces it means it will affect your adhesivity also it will affect your cohesivity also so as there will be the uh, rise in temperature it will affect your cohesivity as well as adhesivity if it will affect the cohesivity ultimately it will affect the fluidity also ultimately it will affect the viscosity also if the viscosity reduces the fluidity increases so it will affect uh, the temperature will affect the cohesion and adhesion so guys let's take take some of the some of the example of this cohesion now over here you can see that in this image there is a needle and on that needle the uh, particular droplet of the water and the droplet of the water is you know is stick to that particular needle the molecules of the needle and the molecules of the water molecules of the water they want to combine with the molecules of the needle as the water is having high adhesion so guys that was all about the cohesion and adhesion so guys if you having any different points regarding this cohesion and adhesion just leave a comment below and guys please do hit like and comment on my video so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy